everybody um so i kind of wanted to make this short video because um basically i want to just do a little bit of introduction um this is a new youtube page so i just kind of wanted to let people know why i'm finally getting around to it and yes in this video you're probably going to see me staring at you at one point and then staring off because i'm still trying to get used to not looking at the viewfinder and then make sure i'm looking at you guys um so basically my name is Zana, but my um channel is called P.S. I wore it because that's the name of my blog and I thought it was kind of cute. Um, there's P.S. I, I ate it and P.S. I made it and I thought P.S. I wore it was just a nice little segue um, into that. So I hope you guys like the name. Um, so basically the reason I wanted to make this channel is because I personally spend so much time listening to these beauty gurus and they've taught me so much. I feel like I discover so many new things, but I think there's um, a lack in like people really showing jewelry and accessories. Um, oftentimes when you go on websites, you know, you can find so many reviews for this accessory i mean this makeup and this mask and this hair product but when you want to buy jewelry um or looking to see how well made something is it's kind of hard to find that unless you're looking at reviews you know so i mean i can't say that i'm gonna be able to get my hands on all the types of different things that people are gonna want to find reviews for but i definitely am going to um, review some things that are handmade by different artisans and jewelry makers all around i already reviewed one on my blog and i'll link it down below um, and slowly you know as time goes on i'm just going to try to get my hands on more jewelry and really show it to you guys if it's well made how it's done as well as also talk about beauty products because there's no way that i can just make a channel out of jewelry because i love makeup and beauty products too much um, so that's just a really short introduction. I think as time goes on and I make these videos, you guys will learn much more about me. But today, the reason I really wanted to make this video is because I've been thinking about making this video for so long. So basically, I just want to let you guys know that I just got out of the shower. Only thing I have on my face is this Aveeno moisturizer and seriously, my skin's been doing so well. I mean, obviously if I get up close, you can see little imperfections as we all have. But for the most part, like knock on wood, I have pretty clear skin and I just wanted to share with you some secrets because for the past few weeks my skin's been feeling really disgusting so I'm like okay what is it that I can use and I kind of rediscovered a product I've been using so this is brand I'm sure many of you have heard about it it's called Freeman right there and so I, I used one of their masks first. It's this one that you kind of peel off. And honestly, I didn't really see too much results with that. So I kind of just never bought another one. But recently, I went into um, Walmart, actually, with my husband, like, during Black Friday time. And I, like, picked up a bunch of these masks. They're only, like, $1.29. They're super cheap. So the first one that I tried that I am in love with is this um, facial polish and mask charcoal and black sugar okay looks like this and the tube looks like this i love this so much that i had to get the full tube and that's like 4.99 or 5.99 and i picked that up in my local cvs um so basically once i put this on and started massaging it into my skin it gives your skin a very warm feeling i even had my mother-in-law try it and she loved it so i even gave her a pack today and she felt the same thing you know it's this warm feeling and it tells you to wash it with warm water so the way i used it is i, I took um a bunch of this applied it all on my face i used a whole one because I, I didn't think it was worth saving but honestly i think there's enough product that if you wanted to use it in two uses you could um, so I used it and I got in the shower and I let it sit. It said to sit for like 5 to 10 minutes, but I probably let it sit for 15 because I felt like my skin was really just, it needed deep cleaning. Let it sit and I washed it with warm water uh, and instantly like I touched my face and I was like, whoa. Like I, you know when you just feel a product working, that's exactly how it felt. So that time I thought maybe it's just because I'm taking a shower, my skin's exfoliating, all of that. Tried it again and I loved it. So then I bought a few other ones. Um... And I'm just going to share with you what they are. And some of them I've tried already and some I haven't. Like, for example, this one I haven't tried, but I did see a YouTuber talking about it. I believe it was Glamorazzi. And she, you know, I think uh, she liked it. So this is a facial exfoliating scrub. It's pink grapefruit. So I'm kind of excited to see how this smells. I haven't opened it yet. Um, but I think grapefruit, from what I know, is good for your skin. Like, it brightens it up. 
And then they also have these um, paper masks. So I tried this other one the, the other night, like a hydrating one where you just basically put it onto your face. You let it all soak in until the paper gets dry. And then whatever's left over the serum, you just kind of rub it into your skin. Um, and it felt so good. I really, really liked it. But I did, it says not to wash or rinse your face, but I, it kind of felt sticky. So I did rinse my face. But I think next time what I would do is probably just use a moisturizer instead of rinsing out any of the product. Um, and this, this one looked intriguing as well. It's a facial brightening paper mask um and it's in rose and i kind of opened this a little bit because i love rose smelling things and it smelled really yummy this one i've actually tried before and i really liked it um, i think that's kind of why i rediscovered it um it's the facial clay mask avocado and oatmeal it's it's really nice and soothing on your skin so um i think i'm going to end up getting this like a, the bigger the bigger bottle for it and but this by far seriously my favorite you know it's hard for me to say if, if, what kind of reaction I'll have to different skin types but I really do think it's not something that uh, you have to have a certain skin type to really enjoy just, it just feels like it would be a product that would work well um, but just to let you know I don't have really oily or dry skin it's pretty much normal um, sometimes I'll get like a little dry around here which was what was happening and after I used this and started moisturizing with my trusty oh it's right here oh, this thing this Aveeno is amazing like I can't live without this. This has become something that I need to use every night. I mean, I don't always use a night cream. I'm kind of bad about that. But when I do, I really feel a difference in the morning. So, um, Avino actually sent this to me a while ago. And then I just, like, repurchased it. Okay. I'm just going to make this short. But I just needed to share two other masks. But they're actually not face masks. They are hair masks. This is the Numi Hydrating Punch or Hydro Punch Hydrating Mask. I love this stuff. This was actually the first thing that gave me um, kind of segue into the mask world. And once I put this on my hair, like, I have pretty frizzy hair once I get out of the shower. But after using these masks, this is my natural hair. You know, this is how it looks without it being curled or anything. And it's pretty frizz-free. You know, I've used a little bit of argan oil, but for the most part, that's it, you know. Um, and the other thing that I discovered, I actually discovered this through um, Sarah. Sarah Asif, you can find her on Instagram, and I think her Twitter is Sarah D. Asif if you want to follow her. Um, and it's the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask. So I used this and I left this on my hair for like 45 minutes the day I used the mask. And seriously, after that, I feel like my hair has been, it's been falling less. I was having really bad foliage, you know, it's been falling a lot less. It's so much thicker. It's just so nice and I just want to feel it. Um, so I just really wanted to share those products and I really hope that you can get your hands on it. And let me know in the comments what you think. I know I started this off saying I was going to talk about jewelry, but I'm going to get to that silly. But I really just needed to share this really quickly just because I got out of the shower and I know how I'm feeling. So it just felt like the appropriate video. Um, if you have any questions or suggestions or um, brands I should check out first or reviews you want to see, please let me know and definitely subscribe. I'm really looking forward to um, growing this journey with you guys. And lots of love.